or a very short video on stem and leaf how many plumes were in the sample there's very little they can ask you on stem and leaf the total might be best to box off as many as you can so there's what have we got in there we have three by six which is 18 we can box off these guys that's two by five which is 10 and we just add the rest together we have a one one here two three four five six seven 17 and 18 is 35 part one calculate the mean so we have to have all of these so the sum of all of these the sum of these so 26 plus 31 all the way to the last one plus 61 and you'd be very unfortunate if you had to add 35 numbers together on a calculator and divide by 35 in any exam at any level would be an awful question because it's so easy to make an error so see can you do it there the answer here is 44.49 and any time you do anything on the calculator of course you have to check your answer a second time so you've got to go back and do it again because you can never trust it the first time now part three we're asked for the median plumb weight so let's have a look at the median here the median we said in video one and statistics that the median if there's an odd number it's easy enough to get so is there an odd number here 35 there is so where's the midpoint of 35 which one is it well I'd have to leave, we saw if you take one away from 35, you get 34 and half it, we have to have 17 on either side and the one in the middle to make it my 35 altogether. So if I count up 17, oh I want to get the 18th here, count up 17 and take the next one. So I've got one here, another three, another five, uh, two, 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 three, four, 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 so that's another eight. So I'm at 13 and four. I'm at 17, so that's 17, and this one here is 18. So just double check how many we have left. We should have 17 on the other side. 2, 4, 9, and 4, 13, 16, 17. We do have 17 on the other side as well. So the answer here is 4, 5, 45 for part 3. Part four, what do you notice about, about your answers to two and three? Well, we'll talk about which average to use, the mean, the median, or the mode, um, central tendencies, they can also be called. In this case, you can see that the mean and the median are very, very close. And on a large set of data, they are gonna be pretty close together. They could even be the same. Um, and the shape of the distribution here. Well, if we, if I get rid of the numbers again, and we draw a curve around it, and if I draw a curve, I try and draw a curve around it like this, you can see here that that's not far off being symmetrical. So we would definitely call this symmetrical normal distribution. Does it have a unique mode? Um, let's have a look here for a unique mode, the one that occurs most often. That looks like one possibility there, the 47. But there's also 4, 4, it's here, 44. So it does not have a unique mode. So really basic, straightforward question. We may see a few more of these as we go forward in statistics, but stem and leaf, you can get a double stem and leaf where obviously two pieces of data and we could be con comparing what's going on over here, it could be tailed off to one side and we'll have two pieces of data. We'll have another data set along here. So move on to the next video.